Rajat Rajkari of Motila Loswal has joined in now. Rajat, uh, good morning. Uh, some of the advanced tax numbers are beginning to trickle in. Uh, how do you expect the earnings season to pan out uh, this time around for Q4? Hello. Hi. I think uh, the initial uh, numbers that we are seeing from most of the sectors for this quarter indicate that this quarter is going to be really a tough quarter on the numbers. Won't be surprised by the time we compile our numbers, you know, the earnings growth for this quarter could just be about flat, uh, could, could also report some marginal degrowth uh, because a lot of the sectors have actually seen new lows. If you look at autos, the numbers continue to look bad. Look at cement, this quarter which is typically a good quarter, numbers are looking bad. The credit growth is really not picking up, the numbers are quite flat. I think on an average you would be seeing numbers being very, very disappointing this quarter. Hmm. Rajat, morning. In that context, what do you expect the market to do? I mean, do you expect some more adjustment to these earnings disappointments or do you think uh, right now valuations and expectations are fairly matched? Well, I think uh, uh, after the December quarter numbers, the markets got uh, uh, adjusted to uh, some disappointment into the numbers and that's why we saw some correction happening there. But in general, uh, uh, people have actually delayed or postponed their expectations of the earnings recovery now. Uh, what we were expecting to happen in the uh, first half of FY14 now seems to getting delayed to second half of FY14. Uh, so the markets will uh, just remain stuck into a range and in turn with that the valuations will keep on correcting a process that we have been now seeing for the last 2-3 years. The one space that's been seeing a steady uh, run of good news is the oil and uh, oil and gas space, Rajat. There's talk again of another fuel price hike come the weekend. How are you approaching that pocket and what looks like an interesting buy from that space? Well, uh, we just released a, a fairly detailed report on the PSU oil companies. And I think it's very interesting to see that after uh, almost three to four years of uh, no earnings growth or a very low earnings growth, stocks like ONGC and Oil India will suddenly see an adjustment in their earnings. I call it an adjustment rather than a growth because they were earning much below than what they should have been earning. So it's an adjustment that we will see in their earnings from a, from a 29, 30 rupees EPS of ONGC, the number over the next two years could anything between be between 40 to 50 rupees, depending upon how far we see this fuel price adjustment to happen. But I think the trend is very clear that the earnings are going to move up. How much they move up will be a function of how many monthly diesel price increases we see. And secondly, the expectation of the gas price increase that has started to get built in into the estimates. But I think it would be fair to assume that over the next two years and ONGC earnings can see a readjustment of almost closer to 35 to 50 percent from what they reported in FY13. And that is why as a pack, ONGC and Oil India looks like two of the best investment ideas in the market at this point of time. We were just talking about the IPO which closes today, Rajat. Repco, you guys have taken a call on it. Uh, uh, so far, subscription has been thin, but you would recommend people to buy? Yes, uh, we, are, uh, we have been always very, very positive on the mortgage financing industry because we think this is one industry which is probably one of the best uh, financing opportunities in this country. Look, look from any size, size from an HDFC to an LIC to a Diwan and many other NBFCs who have entered into this zone. The, the, the underlying business assumption that India is an underpenetrated market, if you are able to take care of your cost of funds and NPLs, I think companies can sustainably earn an ROE of between 18 to 20 percent. Even uh, Repco has been earning those similar ROEs. They have their own niche segment that they have been operating in. And post this capital infusion, their leverage will suddenly drop from eight times to closer to four and a half times, which allows them to grow their book comfortably over the next three, four years. The underlying business opportunity is so huge in this segment that even a smaller player can continue to grow for many years before getting worried about the growth rate. Any thoughts on Nalco on which the government is trying to do an offer for sale? 
But I think uh, all the Nalco, given the pricing at which it is happening, will again see some sub some sub subscription. But we think that uh, 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 within the metal pack, uh, uh, the stocks that we remain still pause because everything has fallen in into the metal pack. Hindalco still for us remains the best bet within the options available today. You were talking about the autos, Rajat. Uh, what what remains your top pick from that space? As, as you pointed out, sales have been quite paltry for the whole lot. Well, um, uh, first of all, I think uh, it's a consensus now that two-wheeler is something which is going to see a uh, uh, lot more p pain before you start getting positive. In fact, recently when we just released a note on uh, HMSI numbers, we were surprised that their FY12 margins stood at almost 15 percent. You know, when a, uh, from a two and a half player industry, this is becoming a three and a half player industry. And when the new player is entering the industry with such strong financials, you should assume that the industry will see more trouble before it starts seeing any worthwhile rewards to offer to investors. Within the four-wheeler pack, uh, somewhere Tata Motors is completely a global play. Despite domestic numbers being bad, it is make, hardly making any impact onto the stock. I think Maruti, from a stock point of view, which is now again fairly well consolidating at these levels of 1350, 1400, will again become interesting. But uh, you may not be in a hurry to buy this stock right now because the numbers just may take some more time before they recover. But yes, uh, you are not you are not seeing any further deterioration in Maruti either in terms of volumes or in terms of margins. So from a stability point of view, they have come to a stable band. But I think the upsides could just be some time away before we look at these names again. Mm. Any thoughts on Titan, Rajat? I mean, the management was at pains to point out that they would deal with all the regulatory changes and volume growth would not be impacted. But the stock was down yesterday as well, as it has suffered through this week. Well, uh, uh, this is uh, this is right now the most uh, favorite uh, play for uh, or favorite industry uh, uh, across the regulatory framework to address the current account deficit. If you look at the kind of norm changes that we have been seeing over the last three, four months on the gold import front. They have been too many in a short period of time and we are still not through with that. This recent norms about the KYC norms itself, while the industry will take its own time and may comply with it, I think the initial adjustment period is what investors are worried about. And given the kind of noises that we are continue to hear on the alarming current account deficit problem, Till the time you do not see the news front st st stepping away from the gold import front, I think the stocks will continue to remain soft. In between this, I think you will get a very good entry opportunity into a stock like Titan. While it has corrected almost 25-30%, right? I think maybe another 5-10% closer to 200 levels, this will be a fantastic opportunity for investors to get into the name.